Welcome back. 840 is your time. They've got one of the strongest student sections in the state with hundreds of their classmates showing up to each game to cheer them on. So it's no big surprise that the Falcons of Flowery Branch High School won the vote to become this week's High Five Sports Team of the Week. And you know what that means? Paul and the High Five Sports Gang are there now. The pep rally has really begun. Hey, with this student section, I don't even think you could screw this one up, Paul. <laughs> That's a very good point, Buck. You know what? Some schools I got to come to, and it's like pulling teeth to wake everybody up. This is not one of those schools. How are y'all doing? Okay, for real. Buck, I, I never want to agree with you, but I don't need to be here. This school is so hyped up and ready to go. Are you guys ready to do this? side and to really get things started we got to let the falcon cheerleaders represent so ladies take it away letting us be here. Hey, there's the football team. How you boys doing? There's the Falcons right back there, our high five sports team of the week with a great season right now. And as you can tell, so much school spirit. And when there's this much school spirit, you know it comes from the top down. We've done a lot of schools, and I can tell you when there's strong leadership, there's strong student spirit. And so here is Dr. Jason Carter, principal. It is great to see you. How are you? Great to have you guys here. We oh, it's, it's such a pleasure to be here. I'm so glad you guys voted and got us here. How are you feeling right now? How's the school year going? School year is going great. You know, the football team, that their success has really got us off to a great start. The dark side student section is one of the best in the in the state, and uh, we're just flying high right now. All of our sports are doing great. Yeah, and along with having a fantastic student section, the entire community is behind this school. When you drive into Flowery Branch, you immediately start seeing signs for football players. What is that like to have the community support? It's great. The community has always supported all of our sports here, and the fact that we're starting to have success again like we've had in the past yeah. It's really brought everybody together in this community. Yeah, fantastic. Well, thank you again for letting us be here. It is such a pleasure. You guys awake back there? How you feeling? All right, that's what I like to see. And we have a very special guest here. Before we go any further, the mayor of Flowery Branch came. Mike Miller, how are you? Great. How are you doing? I'm doing well. It's great to see you. How does it feel to be here having so much spirit for the team? Oh, this is awesome. we got a good team, good school, good community. Yeah. Love having this spirit here. Yeah. Okay, so tell me what it's like at a Flowery Branch High School football game when that team's doing well and you've got this student section and the community cheering. What does that feel like? It's awesome, man. Uh, the student section is always the rowdiest bunch in the land. So. <laughs> <laughs> that does not surprise me in the least bit. He just said you were the rowdiest bunch in the land. Let me hear it. How rowdy can you I feel like we might be setting off the Richter scale this morning. I love it. Well, we can't leave things without some music, and the band here is phenomenal. Hey, real quick, band, how y'all doing this morning? You good? Looking good this morning. Well, guys, if you would, play us off, please. Buck. You know what that is, right? That's the final countdown. Oh, yeah. I love it. We're going to keep the pep rally going. Coming up in the next hour, we present the High Five Sports Hand Trophy live here on Good Day Atlanta. And even though I'm not as old as you, I know the final <laughs> countdown, that was probably like your prom song. You know, I was, I was just very little when it came out. I can still do some 80s dance moves for you. My friend. And I was going to actually say something nice at the end of this, Paul, but you ruined that for me. Hey, good luck to the teachers after all that energy, getting them guys back in the classroom and learning something the rest of this day. Good, good moves, though. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. All right, here's a look at our High Five Sports Game of the Week poll. Closes today at noon on our High Five Sports Facebook page. The winning matchup gets featured coverage tomorrow on Fox 5 News. And tomorrow, coming up, Paul will be.